All right. Um, I've just figured out that the newest version of Utaho Synth can open VSQ files. Um, as most people know, the 30-day trial license just um, ended um, just either a day or two ago, but the newest trial license does work. They updated it. Um, the newest version of Utaho Synth, you can just download it and replace your old one. Uh, I've already done that, but it can open VSQ files, and I'm going to show you guys how. Go down to Uto Synth, open. Go to File. Go down to the one that I showed you to click to open MIDI files. Click it. It now can open VSQ files as well. As you can see, it is open. This file has been opened. This wonderful one by Songo. Um, you can also save files now as either MIDI or VSQ files as well. See, here you can now select what one you want it to be. You can select either VSQ and make it a VSQ file, or this one to be a MIDI file or an SMF file. I'm not sure what SMF stands for. But yeah, um, let me think, is there anything else, uh, excuse me, I can think of, um, it looks like that there's more keyboard shortcuts now too. But I'm not sure what they do. and what they go for. I'm just, I told people that I would tell them how to open VSQ files as soon as I figured it out. And as you can see, it works. I'll even open another file here just to See, let's see this Lilium one. Let's see how it is. I'll uh, use bronze. As you can see, it is opening VSQ files. I'm so excited because now I can actually do ones that I've been wanting to do, but I can't because I needed sticking VSQs. All right, uh, this has been an update from me, Ninetail Naruto. I hope that this has been informative, and thank you for watching.